cold. Oh. Eddie, 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 help! I've fallen into the latrine! Eddie, hurry! There's barely enough oxygen to sustain a gnat! Mind you, there's about 4,000 of the little bastards in here. <laughs> Go on, get off, get off me! Get off, get off! Ooh, ow, damn! Right on the ends of the dinger! <laughs> mm, great! That'll have me itching for the next three days. Mind you. <laughs> Bloody good cover if I get to feel horny. Plus, interesting thought. That was my first ever blowjob. <laughs> oh, hey ho, things aren't so bad after all. Oh, God, yes, they are. It's disgusting in here. Oh, I can't see a bloody thing. Ah, oh, where's my matches? <laughs> ah, here they are. Right, let's have a bloody good look at the situation. Out of a hole? Oh, well, well, got me out of the hole. Ah, ha, ha, ha. Good old brain. Just goes to show that masturbation doesn't dim the faculties. <laughs> Not too much damage either. Good old stay pressed. Eddie! <laughs> oh, bloody whiffy round here. Eddie! Oh, bloody whiffy round here too. Oh, God! Oh, oh, oh Jesus! Goes bloody whiffy everywhere today. God, now I know how the Queen Mum feels. <laughs> no, I mean, no offence, ma'am, but poo, ugh! No wonder they keep her soaked in gin and locked in a back cupboard at public events. <laughs> so, well, can't stand around here being great all day. <sighs> Better rouse the troops. Well, the conscripts. Well, the deserter. <clears throat> Come along, Eddie. Rise and shine. Hands off socks. Hands on cocks. <laughs> no, that's the wrong way round, isn't it? <laughs> Come along, Eddie. Socks on cocks. <laughs> no, that can't be right. Oh, God, no wonder I never joined up. Mind you, I'm officer material, me. Yes, yes, yeah. No, yes, 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 yes. <laughs> no, messing about with socks for me. Oh, dear me, no. I'd probably be sleeping with the Brigadier's cock right up my ass. <laughs> I don't know why I said that. Oh, well. Come along, Eddie. Rise and shine. Eddie. Eddie. <laughs> Eddie. <laughs> Eddie. <laughs> oh, -ho. oh, God. Away with the fairies. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Come along, Eddie. Eddie? Oh, 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 God, I've killed him. Fantastic! Oh, the stench is gone. <laughs> Strange. <laughs> what a frightful guff. Hey, Rich! Rich! Yes! yes. Richie! What? <laughs> something I was meant to say then. <laughs> oh, yeah! <clears throat> Look out! <laughs> <sighs> right, you can take the rope back now, thanks, cheater. <sighs> <sighs> and thanks for last night. <sighs> Bloody good shag! <sighs> Bit hairy. <laughs> but then I like it dangerous. 
morning, Rich. Having a bit of a lie down, are we? Oh, look. <laughs> Knackers. <laughs> dilemma. Shall I get drunk now or shall I get very drunk now? <laughs> oh, am I drunk already? <laughs> uh, I'd better have a little drink here and have a think about it. Spam <laughs> side, <laughs> baby! Ah! Oh, look. Knackers. <laughs> It's you! It's me? Oh, phew! But Eddie, uh, I thought you were dead! No, no, that's just the air I give off. <laughs> but Eddie, if you're here, who's that lying in your hammock? Oh, that's just some bird I picked up last night. <gasps> <gasps> a bird? Yeah, I found her washed up on the beach. She was exhausted, poor little thing. I think she must have got caught in that storm we had last week, you know, so I picked her up. Well, that was quick work. What did you say? Hi, I'm Eddie. I know a discotheque behind that bush. Do you do tongues? <laughs> no, I just sort of picked her up. <laughs> so, was she nudie? Yeah. Oh, God! Yeah, no, no, but I mean proper nudie, you know? I mean, no walking shoes or little bits of elastoplast like they have in 1920s porn. I mean, no carefully torn bits of clothes that hide all the important bits, like in those infuriating Renaissance paintings. No, she was completely nude. Oh, God! So, so, so what did she say? Oh, God, yes, Eddie, yes, that's it. Oh, Christ, Eddie, that's the spot. Oh, God, you're so big, Eddie, and I can feel you in me. Uh, no. No, she was pretty unconscious, you know, so, um... Uh... I just lent her my hammock. Uh, <laughs> I'd have lent her a bit more than that, mate. <laughs> what, you'd have lent her your pyjamas as well? And some. What, some slippers? <laughs> no, you know, how's your father? Well, how would I know? I don't know who he was. <laughs> oh, serious Roger. Did you know him? <laughs> oh, this is getting us nowhere. Well, why don't we just wake her up? Oh, yeah, good idea. We can have a bloody good look at her jugs. Wakey, wakey, wakey. Oh, uh, no, no, Eddie, no. Uh, wake her up. Yeah. Oh, uh, oh. <laughs> um, what if she's too uh, sleepy to wake up? What do you mean? Uh, well, well I, I just had a thought. I don't know where it came from, I guess, because I'm such an imaginative guy, but <laughs> what if she's so sleepy? I mean, incredibly sleepy. I mean... Skull crushed into a pulp sort of sleepy. Hey, now that's pretty sleepy. Yes. <laughs> but she finds it a little tricky to wake up. Well, we could always give her the kiss of life. Yeah, I think she might be a bit beyond that. <laughs> Although... <sighs> no, actually, Eddie, I think if she really is that out of it, I think the most... The most sensible thing that I could do for her, really, is to give her the, uh, shag of life. <laughs> what? The, the shag of life, Eddie? Were you never in the Boy Scouts? I only went the once, remember, when the police called me down to identify you. <laughs> no, 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 hang on, no, 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 I've got it. Silly's a waste of opportunity here. Um, I will, in fact, start with the kiss of life. Orthodox, you know, lull her into a false sense of security. Then I shall move on to the quick feel-up. Upstairs and downstairs. Of life, obviously. Obviously, yes. But then I shall move on to the full-on grope of life. Yeah. Turn her over, slip her pants off and give her the bloody good scene to of life. <laughs> yeah, that ought to do it. I'll be back in about 30 seconds. I should have been a doctor, you know. But what about protection? I won't need any. She's unconscious. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Eddie, that's a good point. What's a good opening line? Uh, oh. <clears throat> Brace yourself. <laughs> oh, Eddie, does my breath smell? <laughs> does the Pope shit in the woods? I don't know, why? Because it smells like he's shat in your mouth. <laughs> Oh, well, 
You know what they say? If you don't like the smell, turn over. <laughs> That's what they say. Right. I'm going in. Wish me luck and Javon Memo. Oh, God! Oh, God, yes! Excuse me a moment, my dear. Eddie. Eddie. Yeah? It's an albatross. <laughs> yeah? You knew that all along, didn't you? Oh, yes. You were just stringing me along. Yes, indeed he do. <laughs> you thorough and total wank biscuit! <laughs> yeah? Right. Put and put. Crap. Sample your bollocks. <laughs> You're not gonna sample my bollocks, matey. Oh, come on, you great big puss. <laughs> Eddie, I. <laughs> oh, look. Shit. <laughs> so you've got to make the breakfast. Oh, breakfast! Oh, fantastic! Oh, I'd forgotten all about breakfast. Oh, something to do at last. Oh, Eddie, I could kiss you if you weren't so effing disgusting. <laughs> right, so breakfast then, off to the kitchen for me. Oh, again. Oh, 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 Smith. Oh, and Fanny Craddock. That's a nasty condition. <laughs> Birds get it from standing too close to the sink. Fanny Craddock. Fanny Craddock. <laughs> Fanny Craddock. Oh, forget it. Hey, Rich. Fire away, ducky. I'm all ears. Did you know you've got a load of shit up your back? <laughs> what? Oh, it's these white trousers, Eddie. They're a tropical nightmare. Is my skid mark showing through? <laughs> Not so much a skid mark. More a sort of half-mile stretch of the Maginot line. <laughs> oh, come on, you're exaggerating. All right, then. What about an emergency runway? In Bosnia. <laughs> in winter. That's covered in shit. <laughs> Real. Get real! You want it real, do you? All right, then. How about you look like a sad, fat psycho who's just shut his big girl's trousers <laughs> and fallen into the latrine? Eddie, what's this? Unpleasant. No, 
Yes, it is. No. Infantile then? No. I've got it. The moment before your nose was broken. Yes. No, no, no! <laughs> no. This, Eddie... <laughs> ..was me not rising to the bait. <laughs> and you know why I didn't rise to the bait? Because you've absolutely ruddy got me there. That's what I am. A sad, fat... Yeah, but no, no, not, not, not fat so much as chunky. <laughs> yes, 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 and not sad so much as uh, interesting. Uh, yes, 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 and not psycho so much as moody. Yes, oh, yes, 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 yes. Sort of interesting, chunky, moody, offbeat, off the wall kind of guy. <laughs> Who's got a load of shit up his back? <laughs> well, it's this wretched diet, Eddie. I mean, three years we've been marooned on this island. And how long have I had the squits? Uh, three years? That's right. And I'm beginning to think the two might very well be related. <laughs> I mean, three years of living off nothing but black, sweaty, pawpaw fruit and seawater is bound to have some effect, isn't it? Well, I've been all right. Yes, but of course you've been all right. I mean, you could drink strychnine all night and still get up in the morning and do 15 rounds with Frank Bruno. Yeah, mind you, who couldn't? <laughs> Frank, he's behind you, Bruno. Yes! <laughs> anyway, shut up, Eddie, shut up. Listen, didn't we used to have a big book on dangerous tropical plants you're not allowed to eat? Uh, yes, we did, but you used it all as bog paper, remember? Because you had the squid so much. <sighs> so I did. Oh, there's ironic. <laughs> Nevertheless, I think my theory holds water. And what theory is that? That our diet has got something to do with what we eat. I thought it was your pants had something to do with what you'd eat. <laughs> ah, ah, uh, whatever. <laughs> so this morning, my friend, when you say to me, uh, what's for breakfast? <laughs> Say something a little unusual. What, like a really crap impression of me? <laughs> All of a sudden? <laughs> Ten weeks into the tour? <laughs> Just cos the cameras are on? <laughs> What is this? Well, what does it look like? It looks like brambles. Oh, they're not brambles, Eddie. They are legumes à point. Pointy veg? <laughs> yes. <clears throat> brambles. So, one bush or two? I beg your pardon? Oh, God, it's just sex, sex, sex with you, isn't it? What do you mean I was just asking you to repeat what you'd said? No, you weren't. You were accusing me of accusing you of having three pubic thatches. When? When was this? Just now, you know very well, Lord Haw Haw. Honestly, I worked my fingers to the bone trying to pep up your diet and insert some jazz into your food. I beg your pardon? There you go again! No, I just didn't hear what you said very well. Not true, not true, not true at all. You were accusing me of deliberately masturbating into your breakfast. <laughs> Why are you doing this? Why? 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 You're trying to send me mad, aren't you? <laughs> yes! You're trying to send me round the twist. You're trying to make me lose the plot. Oh, we've got a plot this year, haven't we? <laughs> very much so, young man. It's just not... It's not very much fuck. <laughs> That again, Eddie, and they can cut it out. <laughs> <laughs> what was it I said? <laughs> oh, we've got a plot. Oh, oh, yes. <laughs> oh, we've got a plot this year, have we? Mm, not much reaction that time, huh? <laughs> Very much so, young man. It's not just a meaningless string of knob gags this year. What a shame. Yes. <laughs> There you are. Oh, and another thing, Eddie, we are not saying fuck this year. <laughs> oh, fuck! <laughs> hey, 
Rich! What? Can we say cunt? <laughs> Very much not. Right you are. <clears throat> cunt! <laughs> oh, Iggy! Anarchy! Oh, and they said alternative comedy was dead! No, no, it's alive and well! It's just not very funny. <laughs> never was, never will be. Oh. <laughs> Nevertheless, <clears throat> where were we? We were here! So we were! Great gag! Right, so, Eddie, <clears throat> breakfast, yes, but no swearing. <clears throat> so, Eddie, mm -hmm. Fucking jet of semen. <laughs> oh Christ, I'm doing it myself! <laughs> Eddie, mm -hmm. would you like some fish with your brambles? Where's the fish? Oh, there. That's fish, is it? I thought you'd sneezed. <laughs> well, of course it's a fish. What do you think that is? A tumour? <laughs> no, that's its eye, isn't it? Well, anyway, do you want some or not? How did you actually catch this fish? Well, I didn't actually catch it, Eddie. No, 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 it was in the latrine. <laughs> I think a seagull may have dropped it. Tasty, though. <laughs> oh, I wonder what sort of fish it is. Horrible fish. <laughs> Severely bloody ill fish. <laughs> Ooh, shit fish. <laughs> Ooh, doesn't settle very well, does it? Ooh, go on down. Ooh. <laughs> go on down, please. Ooh. Would you like my portion? <laughs> oh, oh, I see what you mean. Uh, oh, oh. Uh, no, thank you, Betty. I'll just wait for this one to go down. All oh, right, you are. Go on down. Oh, oh you little bugger. Oh, oh God, Eddie. Oh. Right, well, uh, I think I'll just return mine to the wild, if you don't mind. <sighs> Oh, I'll be all right. I only have the head. It's the best part, apparently. Fish brains. The Japanese swear by them. I bet they do. Oh. I bet they say, What the flucking hell are you that for? <laughs> Whoa! Excuse me a moment, Eddie. I think I'm going to have to go to the little boys' room in a bloody big hurry if you get my drift. I think half the Pacific's getting your drift at the minute, mate. I can't help it. It's this fucking fish. I'm oh. surprised Greenpeace haven't declared your nether regions an exclusion zone <laughs> and started harrying your ring hole in their little inflatable dinghies. Oh, damn. Just as the conversation takes on an intellectual and slightly horny twist, my bowels have to start dancing the word Tootsie. Whoa! <laughs> Oh, God, I don't know I feel poorly, Eddie. Oh, God. Oh, I'm sweating like a pig. Oh, Eddie. Oh, oh. Richie? Yeah, fine, thanks. <laughs> oh, God, no, not Eddie. Here it comes again. Oh, oh, oh Christ, it's full, Eddie. I'm going to have to... <laughs> oh, 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 oh. My bowels are trying to immigrate. Well, not this way, please. Oh, God! Ah! Ah! Eddie? Huh? Can you 
stole anything. No, I can't hear a thing. It's all these fucking drums. No. That's what I meant. Oh, what do you think they mean? Drum rehearsal. Eddie, I think we may not be alone. No, there's drums too. That's right, Eddie, there's drums too. And drums mean? Hands. Yes. Uh, and hands mean? Oh, executive relief! That's right! <laughs> Let's go! We have cash! Well, no, we don't, actually. Well, no, but we have knobs! That's true! Oh, damn it, look! What? Damn, it's not the unfortunate shop rigs. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Damn, Eddie! Yes? It's not. It's, it's, it, not... it's not who? I'll tell you. Yeah? I'll tell you. <laughs> Won't you fuck off back to Bristol? <laughs> look, Eddie, look! Yeah? It's. Oh, fuck it, you say it. <laughs> Are you trying to imply that it's not the unfortunate shipwrecked swarm of moral free Nordic masseurs you'd briefly envisage? Yes. <laughs> no. No. Oh. no. If you look carefully, Eddie, you can see they are cannibals. Well, how do you know they're cannibals? It's an old jungle trick, Eddie. No. Big cannibal giveaway. Oh. They're cooking someone in a pot. <laughs> Oh, he's just having a bath, isn't he? Well, with an onion up his bum. <laughs> he could be French. Don't be ridiculous, Eddie. The French don't bathe. That's why they all wander around going... Pfft, yeah, pfft, yeah, pfft, yeah. And who do you think it is, then? Oh, look, Eddie! It's Keith Floyd! So it is! Hey! They must like their food marinated, then. <laughs> oh! He must be doing one of his great new series, you know, Floyd on... The Piss? <laughs> no. Toast? No. Oh, look! Floyd on fire. <laughs> uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Pink Floyd! <laughs> <laughs> well, he is now! Yes! <sighs> oh. Oh, yeah. Oh, man, what a beat! Eddie! Will you stop this silly beach business and get back here and listen? This will take brains, not brawn. Ah, oh, you'd better believe it, baby, and I'm loaded with both. Not yet, Baloo! It's Baloo, the bear! Yeah, that's him. And that squid I did in here. Oh, my God, Eddie, it's worse than we imagined. Uh, Welsh cannibals! <laughs> yeah, man! Stop it, Eddie, get a grip! Ah, oh, well, I'm gone, man, solid. Stop gone. it, Eddie, this is fucking dangerous! Mm -hmm. <laughs> Now, will you stop this Disney shite? <laughs> We're gonna get sued to buggery, quite apart from eaten to fuck. In our own there, matey. Here they come. Quick, every man for himself. What? No, no, really, don't leave me. I can't run. I've got the jappy crappies. Oh, God, here they come. No, no. <laughs> oh, great oh, shot, Richie. Oh, right between oh, the eyes. Oh. Get the one in the tree. Oh. It's at three o'clock. <laughs> and there'll be some more coming around this afternoon, I shouldn't wonder. <laughs> Quick, Eddie, I'm going to get a vom juice. Here, have a lick of the old fish pan. Thanks, me old pal. <laughs> yes, here he comes. <laughs> oh, right, fire at Will. Which one's Will? Do you know these people? <laughs> Oh, yeah, you got them on the run now, mate. Oh! They're all running down to the beach, getting in the canoes, paddling off, and woo, look out, parting shot, get down! What? Duck! Who oh, where? <laughs> Eddie, they caught me with a blue dart. Well, that's a bit below the belt. <laughs> They're not wrong there, right on the end of the knob. <laughs> oh, that was a bloody good shot, <laughs> considering the size of the target. <laughs> went. <laughs> well, don't just stand there looking like a twat, Eddie. Pull it out. Oh, I beg your pardon. Eddie, don't be so foul. I mean, grab a hold of this large thing sticking out of the front of my trousers and yank at it hard till something comes off in your hand. <laughs> oh, I see what you mean. <laughs> oh, God! Oh. <laughs> 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 hey, Rich. There's a little note attached to this dart. Oh, good, good, good. It's, it's probably an apology. <laughs> oh, fasaratanga. Iranu uvavu. <laughs> 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 
Eddie. Eddie. Have you been stealing material again? <laughs> uh, no! I, I was simply hoping that the secret incantation might momentarily transform you into a re ka 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 Eddie, in the West we read from left to right. Oh yes, it makes a lot more sense. <clears throat> The dart is poisoned. <sighs> Eddie, read that last part again. And. <clears throat> no. no, no. No, read a bit more than that. Oh, <clears throat> zoomed. <laughs> Give it here, I'll do it myself. Dot is poisoned. <laughs> oh, fate. Oh, nemesis. Oh, fuck. How long do you think I've got? It's about a quarter of an inch, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, it's not wrong now you've knackered it with a fucking blow dart. <laughs> but, Eddie, I'm too young to die. It's a shut the fuck up. <laughs> There's so much I have to do, Eddie. There's my epic poem to complete. There's that large copy of Brazilian bra busting bazooka blitzkrieg I haven't finished yet. Yeah, I got stuck on page 27. Quite literally, stuck on page 27. <laughs> And there's my autobiography, Eddie. I haven't finished that yet. The world must know my story. Is this it here? Yes. But all the pages are blank. Yes. Writer's block. No, it's just an astonishingly accurate and detailed account of my life to date. I see you've managed to complete the title. Oh, yes. Richard, Richard. I did it my way. <laughs> On my own. <laughs> Quite a lot. Now I've got a sore hand. <laughs> yes, all right, all right, all right. The right bird didn't come along, that's all. Well, the right life didn't come along. The right brain didn't come along. No, but the right twat came along, though, didn't he? It's all Eddie. I fade. <laughs> Eddie, surely you can think of something to help me? Oh! No, nothing comes to mind. <laughs> But, Eddie, I don't want to die. Well, why not? Uh, because I've hidden a large bottle of duty-free scotch on the other side of the island. <sighs> right. Uh, hang on a moment, Richie. Oh, ooh, uh, ooh, uh, oh, look at those rocks amusingly shaped in the form of a woman's breast. Bloody hell! <sighs> That's right, give the fucking game away. <sighs> Is that? It's a Japanese Army Second World War medical kit in mint condition. Wow! <sighs> but anywhere on earth did you. There was a little mistake there, wasn't there? <laughs> Did you spot it? <laughs> Fucking bastards. I'm gonna fucking get us out of this one. <laughs> they, they, yes, yes. The poisoned dart, the poisoned dart has given you. <laughs> Shut up, give it a fucking chance. <laughs> The, the poisoned dart <laughs> has given you momentary amnesia. <sighs> <laughs> uh, 
it seems to have a side effect of excessive giggling. <laughs> but, but either way, you, you probably won't remember the door to the secret Japanese bunker until Act Two when you're supposed to fucking find out about it. <laughs> Who said that? <laughs> Eddie... <laughs> Eddie, where did you find it in this... this... <laughs> where did you find it? Where did you find it in this fucking void? <laughs> it just washed up on the beach. <laughs> That's convenient, isn't that? <laughs> uh, yes. Shall we forget this bit? Fuck, fuck it. Fuck it. Right. <laughs> oh, look! You get a free hat! Oh. Huh? <laughs> and there's the instructions. Let's have a look and see what we've got to do. <laughs> yes, but Eddie, how on earth can you make them all out? Look, they're all written in Japanese. Yeah, but there's diagrams, isn't there? I mean, look, look. There's a picture of a bloke being sick, right? Yes. And giggling quite a lot. <laughs> and, ooh! Oh, I have a smattering of Japanese, and I'm able to translate this bit, and being very unprofessional. <laughs> See? <laughs> That's you. And there's the doctor ramming a great big hypodermic up your ass. See that? <sighs> yes, we did. <laughs> Yes, but Eddie, look at the quality of the drawing. How on earth can you tell the chaps actually, the handsome chaps actually being very sick? He could very well be eating spaghetti or chatting to his friends about how brave he is not to actually need a large injection up the arse. Cool, look at that! <laughs> now that's a real beauty, isn't it? <laughs> hey, it's no wonder they all walk around like this all the time. <laughs> right, roll over and get your cakes off. Roll over and get your kegs off. That's what I thought you said. But you'll see my bottom. <laughs> yes? Well, I'd rather die. Well, you will. <laughs> well, I'd rather. All right, then. How about a blindfold? Then do nicely. Right, you are. <laughs> <laughs> now, where the fuck are you? No, really, no, 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 stop. Not that way. That way lies fucking old Bristol Town. <laughs> Doesn't sound like a very popular place, does it? <laughs> now, have you got your arse hanging out? Uh, oh, sorry, stupid question, really. Uh, I meant, have you pulled your trousers down and got your little body on display? Uh, uh, yes, Eddie, yes. Here it is. Uh -huh. Here's my little body on display. Oh. Surprisingly firm. <laughs> and not a little hairy. <laughs> Why, thank you, Eddie. Yes, here they are. Two young orbs glistening in the noonday sun. Like hundreds and thousands twinkling on the top of the gatto of God's creation. Oh, God. <laughs> God, they are quite firm, actually, aren't they? <laughs> oh. God, eat your tits off, Rudolf Nureyev. These are a couple of zing-rated wazzers. Right. Are you ready, Rich? Well, oh, I'll say. Right, you are. Oh. Oh. Bloody ow! Bloody ouch! Hey, Rich. Yes? You've got a talking ass. <laughs> oh. Did I get you? Yes. And how do you feel? Well, it's interesting you should ask, Doctor, because I now feel like a large vat of shit-flavoured lard. Uh-huh. Completely back to normal. <laughs> Another highly successful case. Eddie, <clears throat> did you see how I didn't rise to the bait then? Yes. Yeah. Well, that's because you have been ill. No, that's because I wasn't close enough. Hmm? But now I am, so... <laughs> ah! Must be an omen. It must be the albatross's husband come to rescue her. They mate for life, you know. 
God, imagine that. They don't even stop for biscuits. <laughs> no, it returns! <laughs> See its mighty form. Watch it swoop. Yes. <laughs> Watch it circle. <laughs> Watch it loop the loop. <laughs> Watch it get the fucking prop man sacked. <laughs> He's not a very good form, is he? Perhaps we should uh, skip the albatross this evening. No. Hmm? Go and stand on your special mark. Fucking hell. <laughs> Properly. <sighs> Every fucking night. <laughs> don't get all clever. It's not every fucking night. We very often don't get this far. <laughs> right. Don't forget to look surprised. No, it returns. I know the fucking line, so thank you very it. much. <laughs> Arms, damn you! <laughs> no, it returneth. <sighs> oh, no! <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, fucking no. <laughs> It seems to be heading straight to fucking wards me again. <laughs> I'm glad I can amuse you all in my humble little way. <laughs> Welcome to sophisticated fucking Bristol. Who's <laughs> fucking great to find seagulls shouting his head and we all fucking piss to ourselves? <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, I hate this! I want to be back in Hammersmith! <laughs> Even in the dead of winter! Midst the drizzle and the sleet, watching supermarket fucking sweep <laughs> with cancer <laughs> of the penis. <laughs> I hate this island so much, I would rather be in Liverpool. <laughs> <laughs> the scars are in tonight. <laughs> Fuck off and steal something. <laughs> You like Liverpool, Eddie? It's cos it's got the word liver in it, hasn't it? Which has got something to do with drinking. <laughs> well, three years it's been since you've had a drink, isn't it, Buster? Three long, dry years. That's right, three years. Fuck! <laughs> There's still a very powerful smell of alcohol on your breath, you know. Hey, Eddie, interesting thing. I saw another 17 empty bottles of sake wash up on the beach this morning. <sighs> and there's that funny noise again. <laughs> I just want to be back in good old Blighty in the middle of a great big fight. Who oh, will you stop wibbling on like some kind of girl who's trying to have a period? <laughs> but why didn't we just stay in London? Because the police wanted us, remember? Oh, let's take some ecstasy, you said. Oh, let's see what ecstasy's like. Remember? The nightmare 12 hour dance we couldn't stop doing for 12 fucking hours. <laughs> well, Brian Harvey said it'd be all right. <laughs> well, it fucking wasn't. Remember? The fire, the ambulance, stealing the ambulance. <laughs> Let's go 
go to number 10. Dee da dee da, the trash, the fight. Norma Majors peekaboo bra. Yeah, well, let, let's just sweep all that under the carpet, shall we? That is precisely what we were trying to do when the police raided us. This whole situation arose because of your sadly disgusting sexual proclivities. It's because of you we had to go on the run in the first place. Yeah. I suppose we were lucky that that theatrical impresario, Sir Pervy Leslie McBlowjob, <laughs> had an opening for us. Yes, and we filled his opening so successfully. Yeah. Well, I'm good with a spade. Yes. <sighs> Mind you, he made one hell of a mess of his arsehole. <laughs> He was so grateful that he gave us a job, didn't he? Yeah. A wonderful showbiz job aboard that beautiful Cunard liner. Yeah, that was a bit of a break. Yes. Well, my only regret is that we were so earth-shatteringly, so monumentally, crap. <laughs> oh, come on, we weren't that bad. It was a fantastic name. The Great Arsehole and Norman. <laughs> we weren't that bad. Norman. <laughs> I don't know why they didn't just call us Peter Andre and have done with it. <laughs> we weren't so much a 15-minute diversion as a 24-hour pitched battle in the main dining room. We were awful. Look, I was all right up until the sword swallowing. That was the first item. <laughs> and anyway, you're supposed to swallow the sword yourself. <laughs> Not skewer some innocent bystander in the front row. She was gagging for it, mate. <laughs> she had her mouth hanging warm. Open. She was in shock at your costume. Uh, 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 uh. I was not wearing a costume. <laughs> exactly. Well, I had my privates covered. Get a dick in a bottle of vodka. <laughs> I was doing an impression. Of what? A Molotov cocktail. <laughs> Get it? Cocktail. <laughs> we are a speciality act. We do not do impressions. You lower the whole tone. The disappearing rabbits were a nightmare. They disappeared? Yeah, you threw them into the fucking audience! <laughs> and hey, they reappeared! Yeah, they fucking threw them back! <laughs> well, it was you that sawed the captain in half. He was a volunteer. No, no, he was trying to stop the show. <laughs> well, whatever. The trick worked brilliantly. We sawed him in half. I think the essence of the trick, Richie, is in the joining back together again. <laughs> details, details. It's a sawing in half where the real drama lies, and we accomplished that with punash. No, we didn't. We were hacking away at him for hours. <laughs> yes, I know. Well, all that blood fused the electrics, didn't they, and the chainsaw packed up. See, I told you we should have used the petrol one. Uh, 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 uh. Petrol is very, very dangerous on stage, Richie. Uh, 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 yes, as we found out, didn't we? when you crash your motorbike and sidecar into the disco console during the Curtain of Death finale. It was a bloody good light show. <laughs> Lit up the sea for miles around. Made Pearl Harbor look like a couple of fleas having a light your fart competition. <laughs> we were bloody lucky the ship began to sink, you know. Otherwise, we'd have been burnt to death. Yes. Mind you, the ship wouldn't have started to sink, would it, if you hadn't had that brainy idea of filling the ship with water. It worked. Yes, well, I was sort of caught between two stools then. I didn't know whether to carry on shouting, bloody hell, my ass is on fire, or change to, fuck me, I'm drowning. <laughs> but, Eddie, huh? tell me, how did you manage to pierce the hull of the boat beneath the water line? I fucked it. <laughs> what? I fucked it. You fucked the boat? I fucked the boat. <laughs> I got this axe right, hacked away at it till there was this bloody great big hole, and I thought, yeah. That's fucked it. <laughs> and a bloody good job it was, too. And it put a stop to all that silly fighting. Well, it sort of moved it along, didn't it? To the lifeboat area. That's where it sort of flared up again. Yes. But it gave us a chance to slip into our women's and children's only costumes. Now, why didn't that work? I don't know. 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 Because they didn't so much shout, women and children only, as, there they are! There's the fuckers! <laughs> started twatting us with the oars and stopping us from getting into the lifeboat. Yeah. Tell you, it's a bloody good job we had your large organ to grab a hold of. Yep. <laughs> Otherwise, we'd have had to go down on the ship. Yep, and I never got all that in my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I see what you mean. <laughs> Excuse my perviness. <laughs> oh, but your old organ, though, Eddie. Oh, yeah. Your old organ. Yeah. Oh. 
Hey, seen a few scrapes. Oh, been through a few tight squeezes, my old organ. Yeah. Had more than his fair share of ups and downs. Six long hours we clutched onto your long, firm, sturdy organ <laughs> while we were tossed about in the foamy brine. Do you think that's enough of the penis organ oh, type joke? Apple, apple, apple. Hey, Eddie, yeah? shall we get your organ out? What, and have a quick wank? Yeah, no! <laughs> you mean rehearse the number? Yeah, may as well keep the act up to scratch, Eddie, in case we ever get rescued. rescue, Ed. Cock a doodle do me, old matey. Bob's your calves, right? <sighs> <laughs> Yes, and here they are, the completely wild knives, covered in wild albatross shit. <laughs> yes, look how hard and steely they are. Look how very, very sharp. Oh, fuck it up. <laughs> yes, here we are, ladies and gentlemen, just an ordinary household door, liberated moments ago from the charming St Paul's district. Right. <laughs> Watch it fly through the air! Mighty <sighs> arsehole! Watch it fly through the air! All right! <laughs> well, Norman, I certainly got the point of that one. Oh. So let's lighten the tone with a little modern comedy. Hey, Norman. Yes, arsehole? Last week, my wife had both her hands severed in a serious industrial accident. Yeah, how does she feel? She can't. She hasn't got any hands left. Ha-ha-ha-ha-ha! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'd like to see one of today's young, thin, modern comedians do that joke. Yeah, why is that? Cos it's shit. <laughs> You're not wrong there, matey. So, ladies and gentlemen, Back we go to the disco in the fur now. Paradise, isn't it, Eddie? Beach chairs, palm trees, bamboo. <laughs> palm trees, beach chairs, bamboo. <laughs> Sand, trees, bamboo. <laughs> Oh, God, I'm bored. <sighs> Bawdy, bloody bored. Eddie? No. Mm. All right. <laughs> we had a wank in the interval. <laughs> That's what the interval is for. <laughs> and I bet you had one as well, didn't you? Cos you look like a wanker. <laughs> Eddie, will you stop talking to the fucking fish? <laughs> If you could have anything in the whole world, what would it be? Underpants without sand in. 
Yeah, I know the feeling. My knackers feel like the test pad at Cape Canaveral. <laughs> Mine are like the crankies. <laughs> what do you mean? They're just completely annoying. Ugh. <laughs> <sighs> oh, Eddie. Huh? Look up in the sky uh -huh. and scrunch up your eyes. Uh huh. Really tight. Uh huh. What do you see? Blood. <laughs> no, no, no. D don't scrunch about that tight, Eddie. Huh? Look, it's that little cloud just there. If you look at it in the right way, it looks like the busty, mysterious one off GMTV. <laughs> who, if I'm reading the signals right, and I normally do, is on for a major league horn session with me. What, Eamon Holmes? Yeah. <laughs> no, not Eamon Holmes, the other one. You know, the gorgeous, lush pubed, Aphrodite like juggernaut. <laughs> with that sort of come in my face look. <laughs> You mean like this? <laughs> That's the one. <laughs> no, it doesn't. It looks like Michael Fish in a thong. Michael Fish, the thrusting audacious young talent from BBC's much acclaimed The Weather. The very same. Oh God, so it does. In a thong. Mm -hmm. A moment, Eddie. Oh, 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 Michael, 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 Michael! <laughs> Damn, the wind's blowing it away. Michael, come back! Michael, blast! There must be some more. <laughs> no, blasted equator. I'm bereft of inspiration. <laughs> Ooh, sorry, sorry. <laughs> it's all right. Looks like she's used to it. <laughs> It's very good for the complexion. <laughs> oh, but Eddie, can you remember what women even look like? Yeah, they're exactly like us, with jugs on. <laughs> Do you know you're bloody right, my old pal? Well, what have we been waiting for? Come on, grab a couple of coconuts and let's do a tableau from Health and Efficiency magazine. What a cracking idea! Right, you be health, I'll be efficiency. My tummy's not what it was. Suppose anyone actually buys that magazine? Nah, they just nick it, don't they? Or, or slip it in between a couple of copies of Razzle to avoid the embarrassment. <laughs> well, whatever. Right, I'll be the photographer. <laughs> and you, Eddie, you're the gorgeous, fresh-faced young model with the airbrushed pubes. Oh, airbrushed pubes. OK. <laughs> right, now, <clears throat> this is Health and Efficiency magazine, remember, Eddie? Yeah. So you're playing an obviously meaningless game of volleyball... Uh -huh. ...in a biting northeast wind... <sighs> ...somewhere just outside Hull. Oh, look, there's Hull. <laughs> Yes, it's sort of zero on the hornometer at the moment, Eddie. Ah. Hey, on second thoughts, yes! Perhaps you'd better be the fat, bald German bloke with the hairy back and the tiny dick who's pushing a trolley round a supermarket in just his sandals. And the survey said... Fuck off! <laughs> <laughs> All right, then. I'll just fuck off. Here I go. Fucking off. <laughs> Fucking off. <laughs> one actually fuck off. Very quickly. <laughs> oh, oh, Eddie, 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 Eddie! I thought you'd just fucked off. Yeah, I just fucked back on again. <laughs> listen, I've just had a great idea. Oh, this is fantastic. Listen, shut up. Shut up, fuck off. Shut up, listen, listen. Oh, 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 fuck off, shut up. Listen, I'll think of a grain of sand, right? And you've got to guess which one it is. <laughs> Eddie. Eddie. All right, I'll play it on my own. That one, yes, well done. <laughs> I'll do it again. That one, yes, 2-0. 2-0. 2. Nil. <laughs> two, nil. two. <laughs> two <ooh>. nil. <laughs> nil. <laughs> nil. Nil. One, two, nil. <laughs> one, two, nil. <laughs> I was, I was just checking you could see my pants. <laughs> oh, God. <sighs> Marooned. Marooned! Marooned! Oh, God.
God, I wish I had a thesaurus. <laughs> That's the only word I know for being maroon. <laughs> oh, look, Eddie! <laughs> Wildlife! It's all so very, very different close-up, isn't it? Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, yes. Out here in the wild, Eddie is just so much more, so much more crap. <laughs> yes. Oh, look. <laughs> Here they come back. <laughs> oh, the dead eyed, soulless fiends. The cold blooded, if slightly jerky, <laughs> killers of the deep. Yes. Well, it just goes to sort of re emphasize the fact there's no escape for us that way, Eddie. If we even dared to think of taking on the dangers of the mighty Pacific. <laughs> <laughs> well, it just goes to sort of re emphasize the fact there's no escape for us that way, Eddie. <laughs> Fish are fucking frisky tonight. <laughs> if we even dared to think of taking on. <laughs> it's not worth the fucking wait. <laughs> if we even dared to think of taking on the dangers of the mighty Pacific, Eddie, we'd almost. I haven't finished yet. <laughs> we'd almost certainly trip over a few little bits of wire. Paper cut. <laughs> oh. Oh, Eddie, look! Look, 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 look! My little finger's doing that thing again! <laughs> oh. Speed, bonny bird, <laughs> like a bird on the sea. <laughs> Over the rum tea <laughs> Follow the hoojit that's born to be seen. <laughs> Tiddly do McPlop. <laughs> Why are the Scots such assholes, Eddie? <laughs> do you mind? I happen to be part Scottish myself. Really, Eddie? Which part? My asshole. <laughs> oh, Eddie. Hey, if you could be anyone in the whole world, who would you be? Angus Deaton. <laughs> Angus Deaton? But why? Because he's got auto cue. <sighs> Lucky bastard! <laughs> yes, you could have done with that tonight, couldn't you? <laughs> mm, this round of applause, your Bristol cider drinking friend. Who are you, fucking right, eh? Well, he, he forgot what he was gonna fucking. Think what we're missing? Like a script. <laughs> oh. Well, <laughs> we're not really missing a script, are we? It's just that you can't fucking remember it. <laughs> oh. oh, Eddie. And every time you can't remember it, you go, Oh, Eddie! <laughs> oh, Eddie! <clears throat> <laughs> yes? Oh, Eddie! Probably 
hasn't got the right one. <laughs> Fuck! Oh, Eddie! Oh, Eddie! Oh, Eddie! <laughs> Think what we're missing? Baked beans? Well, we're not missing them, are we? I've got very baked beans. <laughs> I tell you what we could be missing, though. We could be missing a clothes show special on how to check you've got the right sized bra on. Oh, oh yeah. Or a Kilroy discussion on, on striptease addiction. <sighs> With Suzanne Charlton as the guest demonstrator. Oh, oh yeah. Or an X Files on disappearing clothes. <gasps> hey, Foxy. <laughs> yes, what is it, Mouldy? <laughs> Missing the British Empire at this very moment. Yes, yes, yes. We have to be grateful for small mercies. <laughs> oh, Eddie, look! Sun's over the yard arm. <laughs> Fancy a cocktail before bed? Absolutely not. Oh, come along, you big puff. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't I make you one of my specials? What about a bloody Mavis? Now, that's the one that's made of gin, blood, and porcupine shit. Isn't it? Uh, without the gin. Hey, very popular. All right, then, what about a coconut surprise? Is that the one with napalm in it? No, no. Well, only a bit. <laughs> but it's a bit of something from that tin I found, you know? The one with the skull and crossbones on it that dissolved the spoon and made me go blind for a fortnight. <laughs> so, fancy one? I would rather watch an entire episode of Tele Addicts with sellotape over my mouth so that I had to swallow my own vomit. <laughs> no, correction, I, I would rather be sellotaped to Noel Edmonds himself, in the nude, without earplugs or a beard guard. <laughs> you really are a sad, used tampon, aren't you? <laughs> no, I'm just a little sunburnt. <laughs> Make you one of my sort of sad, puffy, girly ones, then. What about a nice, slow, comfortable fist up the arse? <laughs> Why have all your cocktails got such frightening names? Because they're all so fucking horrible, Eddie. <laughs> Get a grip, I am working with limited ingredients here. This one's made of tree bark, seawater, and porcupine urine. It's absolutely foul. <laughs> A rabbit? <laughs> oh. This! Max Bygraves? <laughs> oh, I know that one. That's the Pope, isn't it? <laughs> this! Max Bygraves with constipation! Hey, concentrate! Hmm! Oh, God! Every fucking night! But, oh, hold on, Eddie. There's some writing on it. Le danger. Le nuclear bomber. Shit, it's all in French. <laughs> right, come along, Eddie. Let's use our good old-fashioned British know-how. See if we can't work out what it is. Um, <laughs> yeah, Eddie, what do you reckon? I reckon we've got about ten minutes. <laughs> oh, come on, make it twenty at least. We haven't worked out how many questions we get yet. Oh, come along, Eddie. This could be fun. Come on, into the competition area. All right, my love, now just move a little bit that way. Now just move a little bit that way. All right, no-one knows why we do that. We just fucking do. <laughs> now then, Eddie, are you nervous? No. It's just there's a foul smell. That's the porcupine ragu we had last night. All right, well, you just relax, my love. You just relax completely. All right, here we are. You twat! Whoa, God, that's a zinger, isn't it? God, that'll take the enamel off your teeth of 50 pieces. Oh, help! Help! Quick! Help. Quick! Into the isolation booth! <laughs> All right, my love, now they know you. Fuck it all. <laughs> all right, now then, my love, now then, now then. Yes. Are you in the isolation booth now? Yes, I might be in here for fucking ever now. <laughs> 
Now then, now then, now then, you're in the isolation booth now, my love. Mm -hmm. Now then, can you hear me? No. <laughs> Good. Now then, my love, I believe you've got an unfunny story from the sad little factory where you pretend to work. <laughs> That's right, Terry. Right. Well, who gives a flying fuck about that? <laughs> now then, Eddie, first question. Eddie! Eddie! What's this footprint? <laughs> what footprint? No, shut up, Eddie, this is important. Yeah, well, I think what I'm saying is relevant to the conversation. <laughs> well, say it then. <laughs> what footprint, Terry? <laughs> well, that's it, is it? Yeah, do you want me to say something else? Well, have you got something else to say? Yes! Yes, I have, actually! Yes! I've got something I've been meaning to get off my chest for quite some time, as a matter of fact. <laughs> and it's this. I have secretly enjoyed watching Frank Skinner's crap new chat show. There you are, I'm out. God! Eddie, are you mad? Yes, I'm completely bonkers. Oh, yeah, of course, so you are. Oh, God, honestly, who'd be me? In the film, Giant Haystacks. <laughs> I think we may not be alone. No. There's two of us. <laughs> Look at his footprint, Eddie. Look. It's huge and triangular and alien and... <gasps> Eddie! You don't think. No, I don't. <laughs> I'm keeping my brain in reserve for drinking purposes. <laughs> you don't think it's... aliens? What? You mean those huge, indestructible, many tentacled, vicious beasts from beyond the realms of our imagination who want to come down here to visit evil upon us and wipe all memory of humanity from the face of time itself? Yeah! No, I don't think it's them. <laughs> I think it's that bloke who turned up on the beach this morning. What? <laughs> the bloke who turned up this morning on the beach. But, 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 but where was I? You were trying to get out of your hammock. No, no, no. I got out of my hammock yesterday. Just took me five fucking days to get in. <laughs> well, what was that thing you were doing this morning, then? What thing? The sheet was flapping about all over the place. <laughs> and I could hear the most peculiar sound of hundreds and hundreds of bananas being peeled very rapidly. <laughs> I was simply making a fruit salad in bed. <laughs> and I don't see why I should be handed at every turn like some sort of victim of the Spanish ink with it. A bloke! Yeah? Is he? Uh, well, what sort of bloke? Well, he was wearing a scuba diving outfit and he had a very thick French accent. I believe he may have been a frogman. <laughs> I'm afraid you heard correctly the first time. <laughs> hey, frogman, fuck off, you've paid. <laughs> yes! Yes! He turned up this morning and left a kayak on the beach. He... What? He left a kayak on the beach. He left some kayak... <laughs> ..on my beach. Yes! It was about eight foot long. What? <laughs> In fact, he had to drag it up the beach to stop it from floating off into the bay. Good grief! Only the French. I've been trying to get a blue flag aboard for this beach. Where's Greenpeace when you need them with a pooper scooper and a giant plastic bag? Uh, and a chainsaw in this instance. Rich. Eight foot long, you Rich. say. Christ, only the French. Rich. Must be all the garlic and horses they ram up their assholes. You know that kayak's a Canadian word for canoe? Yes, yes, yes. Kayak, canoe. Uh, 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 yes, I know that. I was just improvising what life might have been like had I thought that you meant that the frogman left a giant eight-foot turd on the beach. <laughs> yeah, but Shall it's... we move on? I begin to tire of this motif. Come on. Oh, okay. So, Eddie, did you speak to him? No. Well, why not? Because he was French. Oh, right, 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 right. So you just told him to fuck off out of it. I <laughs> said, you. Take your kayak and your month's supply of food, booze and porn mags and just fuck off out of here. <laughs> just fuck off! <laughs> fuck a, off a. <laughs> Three months' supply of food, booze and porn mags? That's right. Fuck a, off a. Yep. 
Well, did he spill any? No, all he left was this bomb. All right. Well, back to my original point then, Eddie. What do you think the bomb is? <laughs> it's a fucking bomb! It's a new I really ought to shit my pants. <laughs> Thank you, Bruce. <laughs> well, so, Bruce shat in your pants? Yes. Ah. From there. Ah. Mark's man. Ah. Do you know Mark? Fucking no, 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 no. <laughs> but Eddie, huh? what's he doing here? The bomb, I mean. Well, don't you read the papers? Eddie, I've had the spits for three years. I think that's a little insensitive. Well, it's all part of the French nuclear testing program. But why are they doing it here? Because it's about as far away from France as you can get. They don't want all that radiation wafting up the Champs Elysees and giving all those garlic munching Nazi collaborators cancer, do they? <laughs> One or two Eurosceptics in tonight. <laughs> but why are they doing it at all? Because they're French. Confound them. I think it's our duty, Eddie. As citizens of the world, yes, but above all as Englishmen. With a song in our hearts and a twinkle in our eye and major league tackle in our MS wise. <laughs> to defuse this bomber. Don't you mean it's our duty as lily livered, yellow trousered, shit your pants scared old girlies <laughs> who just discovered they're sharing a very tiny island with a 50 megaton nuclear device to defuse this bomb? There is that. I see your point. Why, my trousers fallen down? <laughs> they have, they're up. I can see they're up. It's, oh, I see your point. Why, have my trousers fallen down? <laughs> no, they haven't, they're up. I can see they're up. Oh, I see your point. <laughs> Why, have my trousers fallen down? <laughs> no, they haven't, they're up. I can see they're up. It's, oh, I see your point. Why, have my trousers fallen down? <laughs> Rich, we're stuck in some sort of knob gag Bermuda Triangle. <laughs> Quickly, change routine, change routine. <laughs> Eddie, let us set about this bomber with gusto. No, let us set about it with my toolkit. Your what? I'll just get it from the secret Japanese bunker. <laughs> the what? Oh fuck. <sighs> what on Eddie? Why I I've never seen anything like this before. In my entire fucking life. <laughs> Eddie, Eddie, what in the name of Satan's portion? <laughs> Eddie, it's some sort of fabulous underground Second World War Japanese bunker. All kitted out with guns and food and beds and... Look! There's a bar! <laughs> and there's something written over the bar in strange, childish hieroglyphs. Edie's bra. <laughs> these bottles, crates and crates of them. There must be 400,000 bottles of sake here, Eddie. And they're all empty. Yeah, in fact, I think this is the last full one on the island, so bottoms up, baby. Tora, tora, tora. Well, hey, well, save some for good old Richie. <laughs> ah, that's better, all right. Let's set about saving the fucking universe. Ah, now, where is it? Ah. The bomb, that is, not the fucking universe. <laughs> no, wait, Eddie, Eddie, wait, wait, hold everything, Eddie, Eddie. All our prayers have been answered, Eddie. All our troubles are over. Look, a porn bag. <laughs> no, that's not a porn bag, Richie. That's a Japanese farming supplement. Is it? Oh, shit! Mind you, this Vietnamese pot-bellied pig's a bit of all right. <laughs> Look at that! Twelve knockers. <laughs> No wonder they're controlling the Pacific Rim, Eddie. Oh, I don't know, love. <laughs> oh, no, no, it's going to cost you. <laughs> no, no, not before six, no. I don't think I'm going to pass on the van, you know what I mean? It's what we like to call a teeth dryer, you know. <laughs> 
on your own, are you, love? Kitty winks at school. Why aren't you wearing a negligee? Hmm? <laughs> nice girl like you should get your tits out a bit more often. <laughs> you should flap them about the place a bit. Give the kitchen a good old flapping. <laughs> are you paying for this, love? Is it check or cash in hand or is it simply in hand? Do you know what I mean? Look, hey, hey, come on. In hand, eh? Hey, be lucky. Oh my god, hey, you're hey, having hey, a sarky hey, frenzy. Hey, come on, love. <laughs> 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 He's unconscious. <laughs> and warm. <laughs> I was only looking for love. <laughs> Who could be so hard-hearted as to deny me a little human warmth? Especially around the bothy area. <laughs> Besides which, there's no witnesses, only God, and he's all right. I only went to church in, uh, 1973, wasn't it? Yes, in fact, I went twice. Yeah, once for the lead and once for the candlesticks, That's wasn't right. it? That's right. Who's you're alive? Yes! Yes! Oh. I am alive! Oh, 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 what did you hear? Absolutely nothing! Oh. Sorry, wrong word. Everything! <laughs> oh, good, in that case, great. Um, my ploy of pretending to want to have sex with you in order to frighten you back from the abyss of unconsciousness managed to make you... No, make me feel that... that, that oh, God, Eddie, I can't make it up anymore! Look! Eddie, <laughs> we're both about to be blown to smithereens by a huge nuclear device, so... So why don't you just come over here and give me a blow job and say no more about it? <laughs> Do my ears deceive me? <laughs> Are they telling you you don't smell like Nelly the Elephant's fanny? <laughs> what do you mean? What does anything mean anymore, Eddie? What does anything matter? Just come over here and take me roughly from behind. Rich, you're losing your marbles. Well, you better get over here and play with them while they're still dangling about. No, just come and sit down here for a Oh, moment. that's right, Eddie. Treat me rough. Do whatever you like. I am your slave. <laughs> Why, thank you, Eddie. <laughs> Cigarette. I'd better increase the voltage. Ooh, what <sighs> now, you wicked man? Les dangers. Les dangers. Les dangers. Oh my god! You stupid fucking ring sausage! <laughs> You've only got to sit off the bomb! Right, there's no time to lose, Richie. You're gonna have to help me out here. Right, you are, Eddie. That's right, I am. Well spotted. <laughs> When I give the word, I want you to press that red button, right? right? Not the green one, the red one, OK? Not the green one, the red one. But don't press it until I say... <laughs> now. Pardon? Don't press it until I say now. All oh, right, I didn't hear that bit. Hey, there was an explosion. Well, that's because you pressed the button. All oh, right. At the wrong time. All oh, right. I'm with you now, Ted. <laughs> right. Uh, well, I'll be going to the other end of the bomb now, Dougal. All right. <laughs> right, yeah, then, Florence. <laughs> I I'm also going to fleetingly return to the script, if that's all right with you. <laughs> Brave man, no. <laughs> now, I am going to stick my head into this bomb, Richie, which is sort of on the dangerous side of things, right. right? So it's really jolly fucking important that you don't press the button, right, until I say now. <laughs> <laughs> you see, not only is it very dangerous, <laughs> it also hurts like fucking buggery as well. Oh, hey, that could be painful. <laughs> Apparently! <laughs> I'm very angry, but I am keeping remarkably calm because Armageddon is at hand and there simply isn't time for me to rearrange your genitalia into a very small-scale model of Spaghetti Junction. All oh, right, right. That's, that's quite lucky for me, then, isn't it, Ted? <laughs> <sighs> yes, it is, Zebedee. 
Right, sir. Uh, Acts of the Apostles. <laughs> right. Step by step. First, I stick my head into the bomb. Whoops, sorry, my fault. <laughs> sorry I pressed the button oh, at the wrong time. Honestly, that's three times now, isn't it? I must be getting mad today. I am Benny from Crossroads. <laughs> Tuck! <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Frank, or fucking have you? Bloody right! Are you thinking what I'm thinking? <laughs> I don't know. I can barely think at all. <laughs> so probably, yes. I seem to have turned into Prince Charles. <laughs> yeah. I'm thinking that we've fixed it, right? Right. So what we've got to do now is keep quiet and completely still. I know. How long for? Until the end of time. I know. His ideas go, it's on the tedious side, isn't it? It's just a bit, isn't it? Yeah. Listen, I have an alternative idea. Yeah. Listen, if we thought about gladiators, right? Yeah. Then we'd get stiffies, right? Yeah. That's the idea. <laughs> it's a cracker, I'm on. Let's go! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> hey Eddie. Yeah? Which gladiator are you thinking about? Spartacus. <laughs> hey, Eddie. Yeah? What does she look like? Kirk Douglas. <laughs> Very sexy, is it? Got a very short skirt on. Yeah, but she's a bloke, isn't she? Is she? Hang on a moment, Kirk, my dearest. <laughs> Fucking hell, Rich, you're right! <laughs> and she's got a great big dimple in the end of her knob. <sighs> oh, get away from me, Kirk Douglas, you foul man! Get away from my friend! Oh, you dirty, dirty bastard. <laughs> all right, Eddie, don't worry, you're amongst friends now. You just got to have made a mistake, that's all. I mean, proper gladiators, you know? Decent gladiators. Like from the ITV programme, Gladiators. Oh. Now, I am going to think about Jet. Oh. Who are you going to think about? I think I'll think about Jet, too. Right. Hey, a threesome! Oh. See you in there. Let's go! Ah. I'll get out of the way, Rich. All I can see is your big fat ass. <laughs> well, get your head out of my ass. You're nudging Jet towards the window. Oh, my God! Jet's fallen out of the window! Oh, she's stupid, Rich. We're just hanging around getting horny. Hey, better than just hanging around. What about another round of Guess the Celebrity? Yo! Happening idea. We're there, dude. Right. I'll go first. <laughs> Who is this? <clears throat> Chris Evans. Easy. Oh. <laughs> OK, Eddie. Yeah? Who's this? Chief Mangasuta Bootalazy. No! Tina Turner. <laughs> My turn. Who is this? <clears throat> Chris Evans, you've done that already. That's the repeat at 11 o'clock. <laughs> right. Come here. <laughs> OK, Eddie, concentrate. This is a tricky one. <laughs> Who do you think this might be? <laughs> That's a tricky one, isn't it? Yeah. You want to hear it again? No, thanks. Right, here it comes. <laughs> Oh, sorry, yes, sorry, oh, sorry. We'll have to yes, stop it oh, the way dear. we stopped it before. No! Yes! <laughs> oh, stupid Rich, look, you've set off the final countdown. Now, look, we're going to have to think very cleverly, very quickly, and be very, very sensible. Right, you are. I'm your man. Get this for a kick in the knackers for starts, turn it, prick. Mm. <laughs> <laughs>
this is fantastic. We can market you as an executive toy. <laughs> Relieve stress, play with Eddie's knackers. Could I just say, Reg? Ow, ow, ow. Fucking hell, it doesn't half hurt. No, God, honestly, moan, moan, moan. You dislodge a couple of testicles and it's minge, minge, minge. <laughs> Right. It'll do me, mate. Well, you lie down, me old pat, and I'll pop your knackers oh, back. Boo, you are a pet. <sighs> right, here we go, Eddie. Trouser tops up. Lie back, me old pal, you don't want to see oh, this. Right, you are. Ah, there's the little bastards. Right, here we go. It's all chalk, the end, would you, Eddie? <laughs> right, here we go. Clench and... <laughs> ah! Sorry, sorry, missed. Well, that'd be a bloody good shot if I was going for your arsehole. <laughs> I use more traditional methods, Eddie. I'll hammer your knackers round the uh, U-bend. Uh, uh, Here we go, relax and... Ah! Ah! And how's that, my love? Fucking agony! I beg your pardon. Sorry, not fucking. Cunting agony! <laughs> Must have been something in that fish. A foghorn, perhaps. Oh, no, Eddie, it's a boot! Well, how did that get up there? <laughs> no, no, Eddie, a boot! Look, quick! Ring the alarm bells! Fire up the braziers across the land! But there aren't any birds! Braziers! Ah, oh, forget it. I'm going to get me rocket out. No, Eddie, this is no time for having a whack! Oh, what do you mean? <laughs> You're going to get out your emergency flares. You want me to change the cut of me trousers just when there's a chance of being rescued? No, you ass buttock! I mean, get out your rescue rockets! Righty dokey, skip, flip, flap, jack, me old knick-knack, paddywhack, slim to dip lipstick. Oh, look, Mrs. Jones, bomber, Harry's tweed coat and hat, it might be raining. Actung baby, psycho ward, ten minutes, please, gentlemen, it's the lavatory express. <laughs> Right you are, virgin. <laughs> and five, four, three, two, one, lift off! <laughs> ah! Eddie, watch! When's it supposed to explode? No! <laughs> oh, fantastic, Eddie! Gosh, I could see your trousers from here! <laughs> Wasn't it supposed to go up in the fucking air? Slight technical hitch. <laughs> Testicles got in the way. <laughs> Do you think they saw it? No, I don't think they saw it. Your khaki hot pants sort of obscure the display. I'll set off another one. You haven't got the balls. Ha fucking ha! <sighs> and five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> Bloody good shot, Eddie. Look at that, right across her bow. Yes, they've seen us. They're turning round. Oh, there's a flag. Oh, they're French. French, oh, my favourite people. Bonjour, bonjour. Ici, ici, ici. De, 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 du vin, du bossin. Papa, Nicole. <laughs> Right you are. And five, four, three, two, one, zero. And lift off. 
Do you think they can see it? Maybe I'm just pretending to have binoculars to look cool and friend. Uh, hang on, I'll get my telescope out. And I mean my telescope, not my penis. <laughs> oh, Eddie, you are Peter Glaze. Oh, yeah, they can't miss that, mate. It's headed straight towards them. In fact, it can't miss them. Oh, fantastic! Look! The first boat we've seen since we've been here, and they've actually seen us. No joy, no bliss. We're saved! Yeah, mind your eyes. What? <sighs> Not many survivors by the look of it. It went down very quickly, didn't it? It went everywhere very quickly. Ah, well, gets the fuckers back for Hastings. <laughs> hey, Eddie, at least things can't get any worse. Huh? I will now explode. <laughs> oh, oh, shit! shit.